Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 31. The Brit is 45. He is three inches taller, same numbers on reach. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, the gentleman. All right, grant the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so match your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc much improved defensively as he blocks the shot pretty nice knee there dc great job finding the opportunity to land his strike that was for him. Nice strike. Big body keep lands. Right hand on point. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Clipped him with the right hand there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Straight right hand, no good. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice combination. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand count. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh. Right hand upstairs. That punch no good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Ooh, blocks the shot. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Keep your hands up, boys. Come on now. Let's ball it. Single collar tie now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Big kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any spell. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big head kick lands. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. What a body kick. Until he blocks it, you better keep rolling those body kicks. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Right hand upstairs. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Great punch. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after this, he may be able to finish his fight. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right hand counter. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Looping left hand misses the target. Nice one two there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big kick lands. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Superman punch now. Flush right hand is true. Pretty good right hand. Throwing that jab now again, the fire of eight. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the turtle in that kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good fun. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. A beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job with moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Right hook to the head, blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Straight punch lands. Oh, oh the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. 
big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. We're going the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon! Celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised, and the way.